Hey everybody, my name is Cami, and I want to welcome you to my channel and a brand new Let's Play Stardew Valley series. Now before I get started, I wanted to point you to an introduction video that I made. I will link it in the video description below, but it will basically go over who I am, what my goals are, and everything you might want to know about this Let's Play series. So that's it for my little introduction, I'm going to go ahead and get started and create a brand new character. Now, if you did watch that video, you would have known that I also plan to stream this on my Twitch. So you can add me on there. This first few episodes, I'm not streaming just because I want to test everything out and see how it goes. I did a few tests yesterday on Twitch um, in the past couple days and I was really happy with my Twitch setup but I wasn't quite satisfied with my YouTube recordings so I'm planning to record the first few just um, without streaming and hopefully I'll be in a better place okay so I'm gonna create my character I have like a pretty basic outfit just a normal farmers outfit that I like to use um, I considered getting a um, clothing mod, but there's just way too many choices out there and I don't really want to waste any time picking out the best mod. So we've got this really basic outfit where I'm wearing a red vest, got my jeans on and a white t-shirt and my farmer's boots. I don't really think we need anything other than that. So let's go ahead and make sure that everything we filled out is correct. So my name is Cammy, as you guys all know. The farm name is Pea Soup Farm because um, there's a story behind that and I'll probably get into it some other time. And my favorite thing we're going to go ahead and say is Pea Soup. Now I'm not going to skip the introduction just because I want to consider anybody who has never played this game before and if they want to see what the storyline is, we're going to we're going to leave this in for them. So, I think everything's good. Animal preference is cat. I color black because <laughs> my eyes are my eye color is brown, but um, it looks black and my hair color is black as well. Um, but I do like making it a little gray purple hue just because when we're in the caves, it's um, it gets really dark in there. So that's my character setup. We're going to hit OK and get started with the cutscene. Now, um, I'm going to talk over the intro a little bit so you guys can read along if you've never seen this before. But basically, your grandfather leaves you um, his farm, very similar to the Harvest Moon series, which is um, one of the games that are it's always going to be on my top 10, maybe even top 5 most favorite games of all time. And... Uh, when I first got introduced to Stardew Valley, I didn't really like it. I think my brother actually... Oh wait, hold on, this quote is really good. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. Now, I don't know if anybody else can relate to that quote, but that... Oh, the feels. When that happens, my dear, you'll be ready for this gift. Now let grandpa rest. Okay. So as I was saying, my brother got me this, um, got me into Stardew Valley. He's the one that recommended it to me, but I played it maybe, I don't know, not even an hour and I didn't like it for whatever reason, but it wasn't until many, many years later that my husband bought it for me and I tried playing it on the switch and that's when it really clicked how much I love this game. So I'm pretty new to Stardew Valley, even though it's been out for so long. I haven't finished it yet. So that's kind of what I plan to do with this playthrough. Now, as you saw, I am in some sort of cubicle and I am obviously miserable. I'm going to open up the letter that my grandpa gave me, which says, Dear Cammy, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life, real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to a place I truly belong. 
I've enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy, Pea Soup Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This is my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my dear. Good luck, love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? All right, so we're ready to get started. Um... Just a quick reminder to everybody, uh, I am playing Sardew Valley on PC, but I am using a keyboard and mouse and an Xbox controller, so don't get confused with the controls on the screen. All right, so we basically quit our job and said, forget this, I don't want to be bored all day in a cubicle, and we hopped on a bus to Stardew Valley. You know, no matter how many times I start this game over, it's just, it still feels really good. All right, the first character that we meet, her name is Robin. She says, hello, you must be Cammie. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here if you'll follow me. And the farm is a mess. Oh boy. This is Pea Soup Farm. Oh no. See, I don't like it at all. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. What a little dedication. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. All right, Robin. That's one way to look at it. And here we are, your new home. Lewis, ah, the new farmer. This is the old guy that my grandpa was talking about. Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. So you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house. Very rustic. I love little cottages like that, though. That's like low-key one of my favorite things. Rustic, that's one way to put it. Crestony might be a little more apt, though. <laughs> he got mad. Don't listen to her, Cammy. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. Oh, she didn't like that. Look at the cute little banter at the... <laughs> Start of the game. I like that. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow, you ought to explore the town a bit more and introduce yourself. Okay, so this this is the first quest that you get, um, which is you introduce yourselves to all the townspeople. Um, the past few days, I've been trying to get this down so that um, I introduce myself to everybody on the first day. I think I missed like three out of the four times that I started over trying to get ready for the series, I messed up and I had only gotten it once. So, oh, Lewis says, oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck. <laughs> the walking sounds are great. Okay, day one, you guys, this is it. This is official. We're starting. Now you're going to notice every day I, um, well, first we have to make sure the fire's lit because I, I believe that actually does something. I'm not that sure, but I light it anyway. So the first thing I do every day is I check the weather report just to see what um, the weather's going to be like tomorrow. So it's going to be sunny all day. That's fine. And I check my fortune because the um, game actually has a luck meter. Um, and it's a statistic that uh, comes into play when you're mining or doing anything that requires, like, having luck when items drop. So, it looks like spirits feel neutral. That's fine. I'll take neutral over bad any day. And it looks like we have a package with parsnip seeds. We have 15 of them. And a little note that says, here's a little something to get you started from Mayor Lewis. So, we're going to check our journal real, real quick. Um, it looks like we have um, one quest, 
which is to cultivate and harvest parsnip, which we can't do right uh, now, but we could do the second quest called Introductions. It would be a nice gesture to introduce yourself around town. Some people might be anxious to meet the new farmer. And we now have two out of 28 people greeted. And those two we can check in our menu is Robin and Lewis. Now, this is a list of all the villagers, and I think we can get everybody in in one day so um, I'm going to make sure that my game settings are right I usually like to turn this thing on which shows the tool hit location and I like to turn the music a little bit low um, just cuz I don't know it's uh, easier for me to hear myself think okay so the first thing I'm gonna do is clear away real quick just get rid of some of these weeds and we're gonna head towards the back here where we can go up this path. All right, so we have a little path cleared. And the second thing I like to do is I like to chop down some trees and get enough for a wooden chest. Now, Stardew Valley is one of, um, one of those games where crafting is a part of the game mechanics. So if you are familiar with Minecraft, um, and I guess other games, but Minecraft is the most popular one. Um, all these items, these resources that you collect, you can craft them into things that you can use on your farm. So this wood fence uh, will have two pieces of wood, and we have plenty and plenty of that. Um, and this chest, which is the thing I want to make, costs 50 wood. So I'm going to go ahead and keep chopping away. I'm going to try to clear these trees first, just because they block the way. And I'm only going over the basic mechanics because I'm considering the people who have never played this game before. <laughs> um, and I'm specifically thinking of someone like my sister who also loves the Harvest Moon series. She watched me play it growing up and I've told her about this game. And I think even on one of our visits um, to visit my brother who's in the army, we were in the plane and she was watching me play. So um, shout outs to her because she watches my YouTube videos. Anyways, we, we just got enough wood. Um, sorry, I didn't call that out there. But now we can store a bunch of stuff in here because we don't need all this. We're going to keep our hoe because um, there are some things. Oh, I just put it in here on accident. Okay. There are some things that you can dig up while you're wandering and exploring the town. So I'm going to go ahead and bring that with me. But everything else I left behind. And we're going to head up to the back way of the farm and introduce ourselves to the first character. Now, one of the other things that I really enjoy about this game is the NPCs and the character storylines. So I'm going to do my best in this playthrough to um, unlock them all. All right, so here is Linus, the first villager, other than obviously Robin and Lewis that we're introducing ourselves to. He says, a stranger, hello, don't mind me, I just live out here alone. And it's so cute, he's got a little house and everything, a little bed. Oh, maybe I should have, I should have asked him. Sorry, sorry Linus, that was rude. <laughs> um, the next thing we're going to do is oh, we're going to pick that up. That was a leak. You can see on the bottom left-hand corner what, um, what items I pick up. And we're right on time to go into this house where um, Robin lives. So she lives right behind you. She asks, uh, have you met everyone in town? That sounds exhausting. And it really is going to be pretty exhausting, especially because um, between you and me, I've done this hundreds of times I'm not even kidding this is why I was able to figure out how to introduce yourself to everybody so the next person we meet is Demetrius greetings I'm Demetrius local scientist and father thanks for introducing yourself I'm studying the local plants and animals from my home laboratory have you met my daughter Maru she's interested to meet you so this is a uh, Robin and Demetrius's home I see Maru in there, but she's busy, so we're going to go ahead and skip her. And, oh, this is exactly what I was talking about. So every time you see these little worms, you can dig it up, and there are items under it. Sometimes they're just resources. Other times they are artifacts. It took me a long time to figure that out. I think on maybe like my 40th or 50th start over, 
I don't want to say play through because I haven't actually played through it. I started over a bunch of times. But I remember thinking like, what the heck? What was? What are these worms? And that's how I figured it out. All right, so this is the grocery store. This is Pierre. Hey, it's Miss Cammy, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll also buy produce from you for a good price. A little agriculture could really inject new life into the local economy. So I didn't know um, that you could sell crops and items to the vendors. That was something I figured out also a little bit later, and that would have been useful. Um, that would have been useful in the beginning. Anyways. I've already pretty much figured out what I wanted to do um, with my crop layout. So I always start off with three parsnip seeds, which rounds out the total of the 15 parsnip seeds that we originally had. And I have six bean starters. This is enough to um, get a pretty good crop growing. Let's talk to this person here. His name is Gus. I'm getting some salt. Uh, sorry. I'm getting some supplies for the saloon. Pierre's got the good stuff. Oh, right. He's bugged out, so he's going to say the same thing, but that's okay. Marnie. Ah, Mayor Lewis told me you just arrived. I'm Marnie. I sell livestock and animal care products at my ranch. You should swing by sometime. And we're going to open this door and head into the little common area here. And we're going to run into this lady. Her name is Abigail. Oh, that's right. I heard someone new is moving onto the farm. It's kind of a shame, really. I always enjoyed exploring those overgrown fields by myself. All right, Abigail, the trespasser. Sorry. Um, oh, and this is Caroline. She says, hello, you must be Cammie, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. My husband runs the general store here. And have you met my daughter, Abigail? She's the pale one with the purple hair. That's nice, Mom. Gosh. Um, I want to check real quick how many we've... Okay, so we've got 9 out of 28 people. It looks like there's like a church over there, and that's their altar. Um, we're not going to need any of that. And let's get out of here real quick. Now, the first thing we need to do is introduce ourselves to this guy sitting here with the football. His name is Alex. He says, hey, you're the new girl, huh? I think we're going to get along great. I'm Alex. I'll see you around. And Alex lives in this house with these people. Humph, it's irritating to have to meet all these new people. Name's George, by the way. Now buzz off. And Evelyn, who says, why, hello, and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you like. I don't know why she's the only one to make voices for. It's just that's how she sounds like in my head. So that's how I'm going to read her her dialogue. Um, after we introduce ourselves to those people, we're going to come over here. And we're making good time, by the way. Uh, I like to do this right before noon. So if you can get to the blacksmith before noon, you're doing great. So this is the blacksmith. His name is Clint. And that's exactly what he says. Um he says, I'm the town blacksmith. If you ever need to upgrade your tools, I'm your guy. All right, so we're going to be seeing him a lot. And to the right is the museum slash library or whatever you want to call it. We don't need to go there. Um, the guy that actually runs it, you don't really talk to him anyway. So we're going to run over here, introduce ourselves to these people. So we have Penny, who says hi. And, oh, did you want something? Looks like she's busy. We're just not going to bother her. And we're going to go into this house and see these people. So we'll go to this lady first. Her name is Jody. Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. What? What was that supposed to mean? <laughs> she says, I'm Jody. It's a quiet little town, so it's very exciting when someone new moves in. Having a farmer around could really change things. And I think this is her little boy. His name is Vincent. Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. Well, thanks, Vincent. And we're going to run over here and go to the lake area. Now, there are a couple of people we're going to introduce ourselves to here. First, we're going to go up top. And, oh, let's pick up this dandelion. So you're going to see me picking up a lot of items. And this is what they call foraging. You have to forage every day because that's... um how you make money really early on so i'm gonna do a quick lap around the lake but before i do let's talk to this girl 
She's saying, one, two, three, four. No, I messed up again. And it's Jess. Um, so when you talk to somebody, I think, who's doing an action like that, and they're not just standing still, so she's like jumping rope, that counts as extra bonus friendship points, I think. I'm not sure what the exact number is, but if you talk to somebody normally and they're not doing an action, it's like one friendship point or something. And then if you talk to them and they are doing something, uh, it's like five friendship points. Now, I went the completely wrong way and got stuck in all the shrubbery. But, oh, you see those bubbles? We need a fishing pole for that. But um, I'm starting to notice those because when I did my test stream the other day, somebody in my chat told me that those bubbles mean that there's a higher chance of catching fish. I assumed that. I wasn't sure, though, and I just keep forgetting to look it up. But that's the great thing about streaming this live is that you'll have other people who are interested in the game that know a lot about it, too, and you can just straight up ask them questions. Okay, and this area here by the sewer is a little spring onion patch. A lot of wild onions usually spawn here, but we didn't get any today. Kind of a bummer because that's usually what I like to snack on so that I have some energy. Now we meet this person here, our next person by the lake. She said, oh, Haley's too involved with her camera to notice you. All right, then. I bet she's taking selfies. And that brings us to 3 o'clock, so we're done here by the lake. I'm going to run over to the main village area again. And we're going to run over here, make sure we introduce ourselves to this guy. Harvey, it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. I perform regular checkups and medical procedures for all the residents of Pelican Town. It's rewarding work. Now, if you have played the Harvest Moon series, it is very similar <laughs> um, to that. Some of the characters are different, obviously, like this girl, Maru. Um, oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? I'm Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. You know, with a small town like this, a new face can really alter the community dynamic. It's exciting. Actually, she does kind of remind me of um, Mary because she's kind of a, a nerdy, smart girl. So, um, And this guy's name is Elliot. Ah, the new farmer we've all been expecting, and whose arrival has sparked many a conversation. I'm Elliot. I live in the little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. Um, I know I'm going a little fast, <laughs> but it's because I'm just trying to make sure that I get everybody in. Um, because I hate wasting time on the next, on the next, oh, we found a book, you guys. We found a lost book. The library's collection has expanded. So, um... Like I was saying earlier, when you dig up those little worms and you discover like an artifact or a lost book, those are considered um, like collector's items. Um, they're part of the game and you want to collect them. Okay, and we're going to talk to her. Oh, wait, we've already spoken to her. Um, okay, let me just check real quick. So we have all these guys. And okay, so we need this group of individuals. And I think... We're in good shape. So let's run up here to the grocery store again. Make sure we talk to her. Her name is Leah. Hello, it's nice to meet you. You picked a good time to move here. The spring is lovely. So we got her out of the way. <laughs> um, in my stream yesterday, I missed her and I was so upset. So it's satisfying getting her. Uh, this guy's name is Sam. He says, hey, I'm Sam. Good to meet you. And that's it. That's all she says. Oh, he says, sorry. <laughs> and this lady is a hoot. Her name is Pam. She says, hey, kid, the name's Pam. Don't be a jerk and we'll get along fine. <laughs> I guess I do a voice for her, too. She lives in that trailer right over there. And um, I guess we can head in here and talk to this chick with the blue hair. Her name is Emily. She says, ooh, I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. And I think that leaves my two favorite guys. Um, yeah, I just need uh, this guy and the guy beneath him. Uh, sorry, let me use my mouse. This guy and this guy. So we're going to make sure we 
introduce ourselves to them and we'll be pretty much done um this dude we're gonna meet tomorrow morning you don't meet him until the second day of spring and this dude is not considered part of the 28 because you don't meet him until like way way later so let's just make sure we find the first of the two guys and the reason why they're my two favorite guys is because they both remind me of my husband this guy's name is shane He's kind of grumpy. He goes, I don't know you. Why are you talking to me? Um, and that's all he says. And the last one will be up here. And he doesn't come out till pretty late, so we're making really good time. But um, I'm going to just do a quick sweep of this area here, this old abandoned building. And the, oh, good, this fountain and playground area usually has some flowers. So I'm glad I, I'm glad I, came down here oh nice double flowers awesome so we did get a lot of good forged items for the first day i'm actually really happy with this playthrough so far and i know it's just the first day okay and we're going to meet the last and final guy that we can talk to for the day who also reminds me of my husband because he is kind of nerdy and is like a hacker in the games, just like my husband. Um, he's supposed to be showing up here, but I don't see him, so I'm wondering. Oh, there he is. And hello. He says, oh, you just moved in, right? Cool. Out of all the places you could live, you chose Pelican Town. <laughs> All right, Sebastian, thanks for the warm welcome. You know, he's just an angsty teen, full of angst. Um, we're going to go back here towards the back way, and we've got some farm work to do. Hopefully, I can get this down um, before midnight game time, because that's when you start to um, get a penalty with your energy recovery so that energy bar in the bottom right is just um, a meter on how much energy you can spend before you pass out and uh, every day you sleep you regain that energy back but if you don't sleep on time then you don't get um, your full energy back so I'm gonna go ahead and chop some of these Bushes down, clear up a little bit of a path here. Because this is exactly where I want my, my crops to be. So we're going to need to clear all this stuff. And I'm actually going to reference um, something I made. Um, and you can find all the resources that I use for this playthrough in that introduction video as well as in the video description. But um, I used a Stardew Valley farm planner and I made a layout that I want to just view real quick. Um, I'm going to share my browser so you guys can see. This is the uh, plan that I made. Um, I have it on my Google Drive, but Stardew Valley Planner looks like this. Um, you can plan your whole farm, and it's got all the buildings, equipment, and uh, everything. You guys should totally check it out. I'm not going to spend too much time on that. But I'm going to zoom in real quick. This is the layout that I want of my farm. Oh, I guess I can't really. Oh, there we go. So I'm going to want to put my... Uh, trellis is here. I already have my chest there, so I just need to go two down and start my trellises here. So that's great. I'm going to go back to my game. And let's see. We're ready to dig. So I said there was one square, two square, and there we go. Three, four, five, six. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Now, I get really um, OCD about my farm layouts. Um, everything I do has um, a rhyme and a reason for it. I spent 
I don't know, like four hours last night working on that planner. And I don't know, between you and me, I could spend hours and hours planning out my farm layout and I would just be, I'd just be happy doing that. Oh, whoa. Okay. So I got to be careful while planting my seeds because I only have a limited number. It's a good thing that, um, it's a good thing you can only plant where you dig. And I'm going to water the plants and I actually am making pretty good time. I have two more hours till midnight. So once I'm done chopping these down, I'm actually going to, uh, clear a little bit more of the farm area to get it ready for the next day so I don't have to dig more of the crops um so I don't have to dig for the parsnips that I'm about to plant tomorrow I'm gonna clear this field out um usually I organize my tools too but I'm trying to make use of the time that we have here okay that's pretty good um this tree is kind of annoying so i'm gonna chop it down all right and oh man i can't reach there we go gotta pick up everything it is 11 20 we are out of energy and i am going to dump everything back into my chest and we are ready for bed and that wraps it up for the first episode i will try to keep these um to around 30 minutes mainly because that's just the best time i think for um uploading videos that's long enough that you guys get your fill and short enough that it's still manageable but I'm going to uh, wrap up the recording here. And I just want to thank you guys for tuning in to this very first episode of my Let's Play Stardew Valley series. Um, I will, yeah, I'll see you again next time. So I'll see you soon. Bye.